of the Central in Worcester, Massachusetts. The crowd is literally on the edge of their seats for what could be the greatest single round of racing we've seen this year. You're looking at the only truck in the semifinal round that did not qualify in the top four. The incredible grave digger of Dennis Anderson used a whole shot and a whole bunch of power to advance into the semifinals over the number three qualifier, the Micro Machine Chevy, only to earn the right to take on the number one qualifier, the Bigfoot Ford. Listen to the crowd. Obviously, this one is split 50-50 between the Ford and Chevrolet fans. The two single most popular monster trucks ever created are on the starting line. The number one qualifier in the far lane. Anderson using both driving ability and a load of horsepower to advance just this far after qualifying in the bottom half of the field. They are staged and ready. RPMs up. determine who will meet the green machine in the championship dash. The world champ, Fred Schaefer in the barefoot Chevy, number two qualifier, lines up alongside the number four qualifier, another one for the Ford fans, the incredible first blood Ford of Rob Fuse. After the war, the crowd just witnessed, can it get any wilder than that? Rob Fuse, the underdog in this matchup. Schaefer again forced to wait on the starting line as Rob Fuchs' first blood machine now inches up to the staging area. And he's ready. You can imagine the intensity in the cockpits of each machine. There is no love lost in this pair. The whole shot goes to barefoot and by five feet at the finish line. The Barefoot Chevrolet advances to the final round. So it will pit the defending world champion against the crowd favorite, Dennis Anderson's grave digger for all the marbles. Stay with us. It's said that every driver sooner or later has his day. In 1990, Fred Schaefer had a year when he won the U.S. Hobbit Association Camel World Championship. But in this trophy dash here at the center of Worcester, Massachusetts, it has definitely been Janice Anderson's day. Qualifying next to last after problems set into the big green field of Hill, North Carolina 50 Chevrolet, Anderson has used superior driving ability as well as the overabundant horsepower of this rear engine machine to reach the final round against the winningest monster truck of last season. And Fred Schaefer knows that the man in the other lane is not to be taken lightly. Anderson is hot, and when he's hot, he's nearly impossible to beat. This is his first full year of U.S. Hobbit Association National Championship competition, but this may well be his shining moment so far in the Camel Series. Both drivers taking their time, lining the machines up. The crowd evenly split between the two machines, but there's no question that the Grave Digger fans seem to be the most vocal here. Drivers going back and forth and back and forth, making sure that the machines are lined up absolutely perfectly. Fred Schaefer, surprisingly, is the first driver to stay. Now, Dennis Anderson in the far lane, inches forward, the sedan delivery. could knock off the world champ, it would end the day in which he has defeated the Micro Machine Chevy and Bigfoot strictly on driving whole shot ability. They leave the line together. Unbelievable finish. And we'll have to look at that one again. There is no way either driver could possibly know who won that one. Dennis Anderson looking around in the cockpit. Did I win? Did I win? 
and you can tell the look on Brett Shaver's face. He doesn't know. At the finish line on slow motion, it appears to be barefoot, but only Jim Harris, the U.S. Hobbit Association event director, can make the instant replay call. He radios it down to the ground. The winner is the world champion, Fred Schaefer and Barefoot. It seems like every U.S. Hobbit Association Camel Monster Truck battle is just another rung in a ladder towards an all-out war. And Fred Schaefer, it just doesn't get any easier. It gets more tough to win these things. Hey, Grave Digger, he's a tough guy with that rear engine off the line. Uh, that truck really leaves hard. When you saw most of the uh, drivers that you particularly have rivals with, Bigfoot, Taurus, go out relatively early, what were you thinking about the Grave Digger? Is he the kind of guy that'll go all out to beat you? Uh, Grave Digger, uh, everybody knows Grave Digger's nuts. If he's got to, if he's got to run in the wall or whatever he's got to do, he'll, he'll do it. And it was still a matter of feet down there. What did you think when you crossed the finish line? Did you think you had him? Uh, I knew it was so close that I couldn't call it, you know, from the driver's seat, of course. But uh, and they said it was like just maybe a foot or 18 inches. It was real close. And at this point, you've got to be eyeing uh, the prospects of another world championship. I know earlier in the year season, you were kind of wondering what was going to happen. Yeah, and uh, like last year, I thought if I got second or third, I'd be happy. And uh, I'm looking at the same thing this year. We've got a lot more tougher trucks this year. And, and uh, I want to finish well and see what happens. You're well on your way, that is for sure. And as the world champion attempts to repeat, believe me, like I said, this isn't going to get any easier. You can look forward to these kind of close finishes at every one of the U.S. Hobbit Association Camel events. There's no question that the dominance exhibited by Bigfoot and other monster trucks through the years may well have come to an end. As a matter of fact, with Fred Schaefer's recent winning streak, he may well be on his way to another world championship. I'm Brent Gebner. Thanks for being with us.